Hello, I'm Jane Scott Moncrief and I'm a garden designer based in North Norfolk. Andrew asked me to make a film and I thought I would talk about what's happened to some of the show plants from a couple of shows that I've done over the last two years. First of all, I just wanted to talk about this um, amazing, whoops, <laughs> to talk about this amazing Tetrapanax. Um, I saw Harry's video um, a couple of weeks ago and I went off to Slutons, my nursery that I always use in Spalding, and they had some and I just couldn't resist snapping up, in fact, three of them. Um, so thank you, Harry, for that tip. Um, anyway, let's go and see some of the plants that I had at Sandringham and at Birmingham last year. So I just wanted to show you a couple of photos of the uh, gardens as they were. This is Sandringham in 2018, that scorching hot summer. This is Birmingham last year in a deluge and I had a sunny end and a shady end to my border. Um, and then at the end of it all, all the plants went to the Gurkha home in Colchester. And at the beginning of July, we planted them all in, um, in the garden in Colchester. And as you can see from this picture, I had a lot of helpers and we had a fantastic time. And uh, they laid on the most amazing curry lunch and um, I made a lot of new friends. In 2018, I did a small show garden at the Sandringham Flower Show in Norfolk for the Gurkha Welfare Trust. And then last year at Gardeners World Live, I did a border again for the Gurkha Welfare Trust. And for both of those gardens, I used pretty much all the Himalayan plants. I wanted to showcase uh, the plants of the Himalayas. And these are a couple of my favorites. This one is Daphnophyllum macropodum, and it's an evergreen. Um, I've actually got three in the garden. I've got a slightly better one over the other side, which is in a north facing uh, position. So this one faces west and it's not quite as happy as the other one. Um, but it's, I think it's unusual, it's really beautiful, it's quite like a um, rhododendron, but, but not. And then when these um, come out, it's kind of like a separate double layer of leaves. I think it looks amazing. And then I think it goes really brilliantly with this Euphorbia, which is Euphorbia Excalibur. Um, that, so this has been in the ground about two years. Um, I think it'll pretty much double in size, but then that'll be it. And then. June, July, well actually probably more like July, we'll have a little yellow flower on it. Um, let's go to the other side. I'm now in um, a, this north facing border and we've used a lot of um, Phyllocephus nigra's um, screening so that you can't see what's going on next door. I think I'm probably going to paint this fence black, um, which that was uh, something I've been meaning to do for about the last five years, so I think I might do it as I have some free time. Um, Here's another Daphnophyllum, which I think looks a lot better. I really like the shape of it. And another little Euphorbia, which in fact I just moved the other day, so that needs to bed in a bit. This bamboo is a Sassa palmata nebulosa. Um, and I like the contrast between this one and this really lovely broad leaf one. It's looking a bit manky, but I still love it. Um, and it has got um, a barrier to stop it running because it would run see that um, but it goes all the way around to stop it running and so all of these actually came from Sandring and this is a uh, Leicesteria formosa um, Himalayan honeysuckle um, which I've given a bit of a chop to lately it's like I think I need to move it but you know, I'll do that in the winter and then this is um, uh, Eupatorium maculatum which I think again I should have pruned a bit but I haven't and then we're just going to go over there to have a look at some of the perennials. Come on, Floss. Floss, come on. Um, most of this was from Sandringham. This, um, I've had three trees in the border. Um, and then this, although it doesn't look much, is um, uh, Salvia oliginosa, which I absolutely love. Um, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. And I think that's probably This is Salvia oliginosa. It's not a Himalayan plant at all. It comes from South America. 
but uh, I was trying to grow the Himalayan blue poppy and it just wouldn't grow and I wanted that vivid blue so I used this instead. Um, its common name is bog sage so it likes to be in a, a fairly wet soil um, but it likes a sunny site as well so in the summer you have to water it a lot but um, it starts flowering in July and it goes on until the end of October when I took this photo last year so it's a, a great plant. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you all enjoy your gardens over the next few months.